My name is Elaine Nicholanein, and I'm a long-time fan of the Strokestown International Poetry Festival. I've been coming there for years and always enjoyed it so much. I've sat in the sun more often than you would expect at the beginning of May, outside the cafe. I've sat with Irish speakers in the bar of the Percy Fre French. I've met with poets from all over the world. I've met the sheep, and for many years, we used to always have the launch of the magazine Ciphers on the Sunday of the festival, and I hope that we'll be doing that again. What I want to talk about now is uh, the fact that I'm also connected with another festival, uh, which is a c in a collaboration with Strokestown. It happens in Italy, partly in the city of Perugia, partly in the small town of Mangione near Lake Trasimeno. It's an area that I've been visiting for almost 40 years. It's historic, beautiful. An Irishman who lived on a farm outside the town of Mangione, Paul Cahill, was organizing concerts, festivals, exhibitions, all kinds of cultural events to do with the connections between Ireland and Umbria. He died unexpectedly, much lamented, in 2003. And for a time we thought that was the end of it. But his partner, Fernando Trilli, a couple of years later, started up the festival, which is called Riflessi Diversi. It uh, uh, happens in September, towards the end of the month, and it happens in various places. Magione has a great big square medieval tower, which would not be out of place in Ireland, except that it's right on the top of a hill overlooking the lake. When we got there first, it, there was scaffolding outside because it had been neglected for many years. But finally it was restored. And in fact, it was 2005 when it opened that we started the festival. So that's one of the settings that we visit. In Perugia, there are more splendid ones. There's another medieval tower, which is one of the city gates. There's an 18th century palace, which now houses the University for Foreigners. And there's the marvelous Sala dei Notari, the Hall of the Notaries, where we have a, a meeting with a secondary school. This festival isn't just poetry. It takes on many forms. Many Irish artists have visited there. The late Janet Mullarney, who died last year, had her foundry and studio a couple of miles away, but in Tuscany. She used to bring her work there. Anne Donnelly, who lives in Rome, has exhibited there. Many musicians, Irish, Italian, traditional, classical, have visited and are much appreciated by the Italian audience. In 2016, we brought the Royal Irish Academy's collection of portraits and lives there. Just like Strokestown, there's a very strong bond with the local schools. A number of enthusiastic teachers like to have poets visiting and to introduce students not just to the grammar of English, but to the culture of one of the important English-speaking nations. The range of the schools is very interesting. Uh, there's a small country school in Magione itself. There's a great big city school. And there's a new comprehensive school in the suburbs where Irish poets and Irish musicians have visited. You'll see some videos of readings and translations and the singer, Leanne Nichilenein, who, by the way, is not my daughter, she's my niece. Uh, she's singing in the comprehensive school. The heart of the festival, though, is in the comune of Magione. The mayor attends with his tricolored sash of office. In the tower, the Irish embassy always sends somebody, and it's a real party. 
One thing that's special about this festival is that it's a festival of translation. Uh, all the po poems from Ireland are translated into Italian, and a number of Italian poets, usually local poets from uh, Perugia and the, the region of Umbria, are translated into English by a number of translators, but a lot of them are done by me. Uh, the Comune helps us with printing and publicity and with giving it its local colour. Our other great helper, of course, is uh, Culture Ireland, which uh, helps us to bring the Irish poets to Italy. This year, like last year, we're in great doubt as to whether we'll have a festival. As it's at the end of September, we hope that we'll be able to do something small. And we certainly hope that next year we'll be able to revive and extend our connection with the Strokestown Festival. The Morandi Bridge. Let me lean my cheek against this limestone pillar. I want to press until I feel the buzzing, the sound the world makes when it isn't going anywhere, a purr of grey transparent wings hovering in one place a humming to itself because it needs to lie still, stay quiet and recover and who will bring help? The noise when the bridge fell down in Geneva, the road you and I drove along slowly, heading east behind a small fiat, packed and weighed down with people, cake and flowers for a mother-in-law that made a Sunday lunch. They were taking their time. It was lunchtime again each year when we reached the bridge and the families were always on the move. So we'd drive along slowly those 15 minutes high up over the factories and streets. I would tell you this news if the stones of the world could carry language. But after eight months, the shock and the noise inside them still, they cannot move or even allow a message to pass through. Ponte Morandi. Lasciami appoggiare la guancia a questo pilastro di calcare. Voglio premere fino a sentire il ronzio, il suono che il mondo emette quando non va da nessuna parte, le fusa di ali grigie, trasparenti, sospese sullo stesso posto. Un mormorio fra sé e sé, costretto a stare fermo, stare zitto e guarire. E chi gli porterà aiuto? Il rumore quando il ponte cadde a Genova, la strada che tu ed io percorrevamo lentamente, dirigendoci a est, di, dietro una piccola Fiat imballata e appesantita di persone, torte e fiori per una suocera che faceva un pranzo domenicale. Se la prendevano comoda. Ogni anno era l'ora di pranzo quando raggiungevamo il ponte e le famiglie erano sempre in movimento. Quindi guidavamo lentamente, quei 15 minuti in alto, sopra le fabbriche e le strade. Ti darei questa notizia se le pietre del mondo potessero parlare. Ma dopo otto mesi, con lo shock e il rumore dentro di loro ancora, non possono muoversi e nemmeno lasciarsi attraversare da un messaggio. Aprile 2019. A young love said to me, my mother won't mind, and my father won't slide you, for you're lack of kind. And she laid her Our wedding 
someday.